let's pretend that you're a doctor, kunwari lang, and you are in a hospital, specifically the emergency room, and suddenly, a bus of 40 passengers gets into the hospital with a lot of patients that need help. Let's say they got into an accident. Alas stress ng madaling araw. Okay? 3 o'clock in the morning, you're only three doctors. You cannot call any other paramedics. Three doctors versus 40 passengers. Question, what's the SOP that doctors need to do? Without being told, without asking help from the owner of the hospital, what's their intuition that they need to do? Anyone? What's the process? Letter T. Triage. Very good. I think I heard it. Right? So doctors apply what we call as triage. And triage is a French word which means to filter, to select. Pag masyadong madaming pasyente, pero konti lang yung doctors or nurses. The doctors go into autopilot mode identifying which of the patients need immediate attention to segregate nila. And then those na pwedeng maghintay, dyan ka muna. Doctors also have the license that if the patient is going to die anyway, there is no point putting your efforts to that patient. You have to let the patient go. Focus your energy and focus your time to those that will be for the best of the entire population. Right? Question, does this sound familiar in our daily lives? Yes? Does it seem like we're also doctors in our own rights? We are? Yes, right? We're all doctors. Meron po tayong mga pasyente sa ating buhay. And who, the, who are these people? Or who are these items? What are your patients in life? Pakisabi nga, pakishoutouts. Emails. Ano pa? Your meetings. What else? Anyone? What else? Wala pang pasyente, mga ibang tao dyan. Right? Your projects, your students, your colleagues, your customers. All of these are your patients. And sometimes, unfortunately, if you're not the best of the best, your tendency is to say yes to everyone. Agree? And that's not so bad. I'm always a believer that if you can see an opportunity, seize it. The problem is, you're not a robot. You're a human being. And you can only capture the right opportunities. You have to choose your battles. What do I mean by this? What separates successful people from the average, an average person will keep on saying yes to everything, even if hindi niya kaya lahat. Only to end up with only two or three things crossed out out of the million things they have in their to-do list. The successful ones will say, I need to identify what's a must-have versus what's nice to have. 